Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to launch Back for Blood game on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to make sure that you allow the game.exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, just make sure that you allow the game.exe file to your antivirus program. Now, in case if you have Windows security, in that case, you can go to the start menu and then click on settings. Now, if you have Windows 11, then you have to click on privacy and security. Now, if you have Windows 10, then you have to click on update and security and then click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down over here. You can see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Then click on allow an app through control folder access. Then click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app. Then click on browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed in your case, it might be in C drive. So open C drive, then program files x86, then open the steam folder. Now find Steam Apps folder, then open Common folder. Over here, you will find Back for Blood game file. Now, in my case, it's in D drive. So I will open Steam library, Steam Apps, Common, Back for Blood. Go ahead and select the game exe file and then click on Open. And once the game exe file is added over here, try to launch the game. Now, in case still you're facing the problem, in that, is, in that case, you can go ahead and disable your antivirus program. So till the time you're playing the game, only till then you can go ahead and disable it. And in case if you're using Windows security, you can go ahead and disable this control folder access till the time you're playing the game. Once you're done playing the game, you can always enable your antivirus program and control folder access. Now still you're facing the problem. In that case, you can go ahead and uninstall your third party antivirus. So you can go to apps and features. Go to settings, then click on apps. Now go to apps and features. Now over here, you have to go ahead and search your antivirus program. Now once you ser uh, search your, once you find your antivirus program, just click on it, then click on uninstall. This is just an example. So go ahead and uninstall your antivirus program only till the time you are playing the game. Once you're done playing the game, you can always reinstall and enable your antivirus program. Now this has worked for many users, so it might work for you. The next step is to repair easy anti-cheat for this go to the game installation folder once again so make a right click on back for blood and then click on manage then click on browse local files it will straight away take you to the game installation folder and then open easy anti-cheat and then open you have to make a right click on easy anti-cheat setup file and then click on run as administrator then click on yes to allow now over here you have to go ahead and select your back for blood game so click on this drop down select back for blood and then click on repair service and after the repair you can go ahead and try to launch the game now still it's not launching in that case you can go, go ahead and verify the game files so for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then go to the local files tab then click on verify integrity of game files and after the verification you can go ahead and try to launch the game also make sure that your windows is up to date so go to the start menu then click on settings and then click on update and security and then click on check for update and once the update is installed restart your computer and then try to launch the game now the next step is if you have gaming mouse such as logitech so in that case you can go ahead and uninstall ghub logitech gaming software now this has worked for few users so it might work for you so if you have this software go ahead and uninstall it then try to launch the game now the next step is to do a clean installation of your, of your graphics driver. So if you have AMD, go to AMD website. If you have Nvidia, go to Nvidia website. So I'm showing for Nvidia. Go to the Nvidia website, select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card, then select the right operating system over here. Then click on search, then click on download. And then you have to go ahead and again click on download. And once the download is complete, run the exe file. Then you will see the screen. Click on agree and continue. And then put a check on the box which says custom. Then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next and after the clean installation restart your computer and then try to launch the game now the next step is to launch the game as an administrator for this again go to steam make a right click on the game and then select browse and uh, click on manage then click on browse local file again it will take you to the game installation folder and then make a right click on back for blood exe file then select properties go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply okay and then try to launch the game from here so instead of launching the game from the steam you can go ahead and try to launch the game from here and that should go ahead and fix the problem now still you're facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and try the steps from this link i've made a separate video for it so you can go ahead and open this link in a browser it will take you to this youtube 
video, you can you can go ahead and perform the steps from here. So one of the steps should definitely help you to get your game working. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.